Hi, welcome back to PSM lecture series. This is lecture number four. To watch all the videos in PSM lecture series, click on the link in the comment section below. And before you start this video, thank you so much for 9 million subscribers. Well, just kidding. Thank you so much for 9000 subscribers. I guess 9 million subscribers is not so far away from now, hopefully. Welcome to Medwitz Made Simple. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it to watch all the medical videos which I have uploaded for free. And also don't forget to check out my second channel 2 Minute Doc where you can learn about various drugs and diseases in just 2 minutes, not kidding. The link is in the description of this video. Do you have to make slides for your presentation in med school or are you a teacher in medical school? Do you want to make slides for taking classes for your students? Don't worry, visit www.patreon.com slash simple and we'll be making professional and attractive slides with which you can impress all your students and colleagues. Okay, so give it a try and visit this website. This video is about incidence and prevalence. So this is the population with whom we're going to study about incidence and prevalence today. Okay, so say hi to our population. So before we start, uh, let me tell you the total number of people in our population. Okay, so if you are free today, you can pause this video and you can count by yourself or else if you're, if you had to hurry it up, I'll just tell you that uh, there are 21 people in our population of uh, with which we're going to study. Okay, so there are 21 people in this population. So I'm going to tell you a scenario. Okay, so out of these 21 people, four people who are would be marked in this rectangle over here develops scrub typhus. Okay, so I want to know what's the incidence of scrub typhus in this population, which means what is the rate at which this population developed scrub typhus? Okay, so how do we do that? We can do that by a simple step. We just have to divide the number of new cases who developed scrub typhus, which is actually four in this population, divided by total number of people in the population, which is 21. So four divided by 21 multiplied by thousand because incidence is a rate as I've told you already okay so how do we do that incidence is calculated by number of new cases divided by total population into thousand because it is a rate okay so that's how we calculate incidence so simple right so just as a small recap incidence is calculated by number of new cases by total population into thousand so the same population I will tell you about prevalence okay so first of all uh, let me tell you about uh, tell you what is prevalence prevalence tells us about what proportion of a population has uh, that disease okay so usually proportion is expressed in percentage okay so since incidence is a rate we multiplied by thousand but prevalence is a proportion so since it is expressed in percentage we have to multiply by hundred okay we have to remember this one small thing as it can be confusing for many people so uh, as we saw in our previous example this population in this population four people develop scrub typhus newly but i want to know what is the prevalence of scrub typhus in the population which means what what proportion of population is ha actively having scrub typhus right now so this is not the only people who are having scrub typhus in the population right now okay so there are old cases who are currently having active infection who are not perfectly treated right now. So who are they? So these three people over there also have scrub typhus for the past few months, but they're not treated properly. Okay, so there are also uh, cases of scrub typhus in the population, but they're not new cases. And these three people also are active cases of scrub typhus. So what, do, what are we having now? We are having uh, 4 plus 3 plus 3, which is 10 so there are 10 active cases of scrub typhus in the population so i want to know the prevalence of scrub typhus in the population so it is very easy to calculate the prevalence of scrub typhus in the population we just have to divide the total number of cases of scrub typhus in the population which includes the number of new cases and the number of existing old cases okay so that's the total number of cases divided by 
the total number of people in the population and we have to multiply by 100 because I've told you prevalence is uh, uh, is actually a proportion and proportions are usually expressed in percentage so we have to multiply by 100 that's how you're gonna remember uh, that you, ha you have to multiply by 1000 when you calculate incidence and you have to multiply by 100 when you calculate prevalence okay so how did we calculate prevalence we have to divide the total number of cases which included the old cases and the new cases by the total population into 100 and that's how we get prevalence okay so very easy so I, I hope uh, whoever watched this video until this point would have understood the concepts of incidence and prevalence completely and you'll never forget the formula to calculate an incidence and prevalence for the rest of your life um, I, I hope so pelvic inflammatory disease yeah pelvic inflammatory disease commonly abbreviated as PID P is equal to I into D prevalence is equal to incidence into duration and that's how you can easily remember the relationship between prevalence and incidence okay so prevalence is equal to incidence into duration is a very important relationship between prevalence and incidence which everyone must remember and you can remember that easily with the help of the mnemonic pelvic inflammatory disease okay so that's it you learned the concepts of incidence and prevalence in this video in just less than five minutes okay so you can learn any concepts in medical school with the help of medbits made simple and two minute dark so make sure to hit the subscribe button before you do anything else do you want slides for your presentation and seminar or are you a teacher in medical school and you want slides to take classes for your students don't worry visit www.patreon.com slash made simple and tell us what slides you want and we'll be making professional and amazing slides for you with which you can impress your students and colleagues easily okay so just give it a try and visit www.patreon.com slash made simple follow me on instagram at made simple one where you can interact with me and you can ask me your doubts in medical school. If you want to watch more videos on Medbits Made Simple, click on any of the playlists which you see in the screen right now and you can support my channel by donating a couple of dollars on www.patreon.com slash Medbits Made Simple. Okay, so make sure to hit the subscribe button and join the Medbits Made Simple family so that I'll see you guys in my next video.